Um, thank you so much for coming out. Good morning. I'm Colleen Lamonti. I'm the state representative from the 91st District uh, here in Muskegon County. Um, thank you again for coming out on this uh, very blustery Monday morning. Uh, with me today are members of the Herringa family, uh, Muskegon County uh, Prosecutor D.J. Hilson, Lieutenant John Gale, uh, Sheriff uh, um, uh, <laughs> Dean Rossler, sorry, and, um, and they will be speaking with you in just a moment. But I'm really grateful that you took the time to come, come out this morning. On April 26th, Jessica Herringa went to work at her late night shift at a gas station, but she never made it back home. Jessica is a mother of a three-year-old. She went missing that night. A small amount of her blood was found outside the gas station and police filed leads on a van that was found, sought in the area by people. Police have said though that their investigation may have been helped had there been a security camera installed at the place where she was working. Unfortunately, there was not. A story of Jessica's disappearance has touched many people in our area. Countless community members joined the search for Jessica in the hope of bringing her back to her home to her family. But despite all of these efforts, we are no closer to knowing what happened to Jessica than we were seven months ago. It's a tragedy and a mystery that has shaken our community, but it has been especially painful for Jessica's family. I don't want any family to go through what Jessica's family has been enduring the last few months. Jessica's family and members of the community have been in contact with my office since this event happened. That's why I am introducing legislation today that will bring much needed protection to our family members, friends and neighbors who work late night shifts at gas stations and convenience stores. This plan is simple. It only asks the gas station and convenience store owners to do one of two things if they operate between the hours of 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. They can either have two employees on staff during that late night shift or they can install a security camera system that will provide police the, uh, the, the information that they need when an event such as this occurs. In her honor, I am calling this bill Jessica's Law. I believe these measures go a long way towards preventing the kind of anguish endured by the Herringa family. I'd like to bring them forward now so that they can talk with you about the need to protect their family members who work late at night. Ms. Herringa. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I'd uh, first like to thank State Representative for taking this initiative. I think it will help a lot of people that have to work in the type of environment my daughter had to. Um, I think if cameras or a second employee would have been in place, I think Jesse would still be here today. And also, cameras would have helped with the investigation if it actually did happen uh, with them having cameras in. Um, I want to thank you so much for doing this. Um, I think it will help a lot. It will help a lot of people, and it will uh, keep monsters like who took my daughter from doing this again. So, thank you. And I am so sorry for the anguish that your family has been through. And I, I know that, that Jessie is out there, and I hope that we can bring her home safely. I'd like to also introduce uh, uh, County Prosecutor D.J. Hilson at this time, and he can talk to you a little bit about uh, uh, law enforcement. Uh, thank you. Good morning. Uh, on behalf of law enforcement, we commend Representative Lamonte on her leadership this avenue. Uh, certainly having worked in law enforcement for almost 14 years now, uh, the, the having access to video at crime scenes certainly helps investigators uh, get to the, the folks that committed the crime and, and certainly helps us as prosecutors prosecute those that commit these crimes. And so on behalf of law enforcement, uh, I, I encourage the rest of uh, Lansing, the legislatures in Lansing, to support this bill. Uh, and to move it forward so that we can ensure that those that are working, uh, making an honest living in this industry can feel safe and secure at, at, at the job sites that they work at, especially during those late night hours when it seems like that, that's, that these convenience stores become the target of these individuals that want to make a quick easy buck the illegal way. So thank you Representative Lamonte on behalf of law enforcement 
uh, in pushing this through and uh, we hope that uh, certainly the rest of your colleagues in Lansing will see the need for this. Thank you. Thank you. Again, I want to thank the members of the community that came out today. I also like to thank Sheriff Dean Rossler, DJ Hilson, Shelly and her family, Lieutenant John Gale for coming out to support this. This is an important issue. This is about our, our workers and workplace protections, making sure that people have to go to work, earn a decent living, and be safe on the job. Thank you so much. I can take any questions at this time.